My guests today are co-authors John Robinette and Robert Jacoby, who review their memoir, Never Stop Dancing. Welcome to my show. Hi, James. Thanks for uh, having us. Hi, James. This is Robert. Thank you for having us on. Really excited to have you on my show because there's so many themes in this book, which I think are incredibly relevant. One of the main things is the concept of grief. We all have experienced grief in our life at some times. And the way you both have created this incredible memoir, I think is really going to be helpful for my listeners today. So in 2010, tragedy struck. John, why don't you walk us through what happened? Wow, right. So uh, I was working at a university. I still work there. And I was heading back to a meeting when I was uh, approached by a police officer and a colleague. And he pulled me aside into a room and, and told me right there at work that uh, his words were, your wife's been in an accident, a traffic accident. And I, I said, well, where is she? Is she okay? And he says, well, she didn't make it. And oh uh It spun me into a place of bewildering Mm -hmm. confusion, uh, lack of balance, physical Mm -hmm. balance. I literally started to feel like the earth was tilting to one side and was going to slide off the edge. Wow. Now, Robert, when you heard this information, what what was your immediate response? I mean, besides the grief, of course. My immediate response, I was flabbergasted when I first heard Mm -hmm. about John's loss. Uh, Mm -hmm. You go through those stages, literally unbelieving, trying to find out, phoning his house, a stranger picking up the phone. When I first saw him uh, in his house there on his living room floor, it was just a terrible tragedy, a terrible Mm -hmm. loss. Words, Words almost fail to describe. When it comes to this book, Never Stop Dancing, what is it that you want the the main takeaway to be? Boy, again, that's a that's a great question. I, I think that for me, I would I would take it right. I would take my answer right back to why I first approached John with this question: Will you do this project with mm-hmm. me? And that is that there are some nuggets of truth to be gleaned from this tragedy that he went through. That's what I wanted to bring back for people. That through this tragedy, and I mean through the entire year, not just because of this tragedy, but who he became through that cauldron of emotions that he suffered through that entire 12 months, that people can read the book, they can find themselves in the book or find Mm -hmm. a friend in the book or find a family member in the book. And they can say, nah, now I know, now I understand. Now I have a better understanding of what that person went through and also how I can be a better friend to that person going through this grief 